All right, tripping over the freaking wires here. <laughs> anyway, I tell you the truth, I was never more in shock in my life when we took this thing off. I think I kind of explained it. The nut just came right off. And then my screws for the puller wouldn't fit. I guess after like 19, uh, 89, 90, whatever. They fit in the 89, 25, but they won't fit in the 30 horse, the 90s 30 horse or this motor. So I'm like, maybe we can tap it off with the rubber mallet. Well, I went over there and went boink, 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 and it just popped right off. I'm like, man, unbelievable. I've never seen anything like that in my life. So I go like this and pull it off. I was like, holy moly, macaroni. Couldn't believe my eyes. And the most amazing thing was, that it even would even that it even sparked and ran and I mean it's just unbelievable. I'm like how in the world did this thing run the way it ran? When it ran, I mean pieces and chunks all stuck to the flywheel magnets. You can see it. You see all the black and crap covered, covered with friggin' magnet dust. You see how nasty that is. Nasty. And he had been talking about getting a new motor, something more dependable. This thing's been giving him trouble. Well, that damn charge coil's been loosening up and loosening up and loosening up. That's where his problem's been. I just got the exact same flywheel. Mr. Uh, Stephen Gaines came by and hung out with me. We did a little fish and didn't catch a friggin' thing. I think I got one little bite, he got two, I don't, I don't even remember. But it was fun just to hang out and shoot the crap. And uh, he brought me a 30, 30 horse parts motor. I'm like, sweet. Well, it's got the exact same flywheel on it. So what I'm gonna do is measure these magnets and make sure they're gonna be, you know, good i don't know how much was wore off and uh you know they have to be so close to that charge coil now you can move that charge coil up over these bosses a little bit but to get it perfect i don't know and i didn't think it was oozing but there's some ooze in there and or my thought was you can see the black stuff in there that's not from that coil that just got beat up that's from the old one that somebody replaced this new one and during the replacement just didn't tighten it down I guess enough and put any Loctite on it which I never do never seen this happen before anyway I'm gonna measure those magnets make sure they're gonna be good I might have to spot that charge coil somewhere uh, the stator seemed to have been keeping that battery charged so it's fine in, in normal position here and on top of everything else that flywheel on marineengine.com brand new they're asking $734 so what we did I said man go for this deal it's the plate we need the plate and everything attached I have to do a little wire in here because it's a big red plug, not a biggie. And it's clean, but you get with it, you get the stator, you know, everything comes on it. So for 60, it's a little bit of a gamble. As the guy said, I don't know what works and what don't. So we'll find out. So here it is, the exact same one. Ooh, look. Pretty close. This one looks kind of small. Yeah, it's been rubbed. Have a little 
looks like it might have a little rub mark on it. Or is that factory? I don't know. I think they'll be fine. They actually look better than this one. I think they'll be fine. Alright, so I can do two different things. I can pull this charge coil out, strip it out of the little harness here, splice off the brown, brown and yellow wires, and splice it into this. Or I can pull off the charge coil from here, all of this, that harness, unplug this, and just plug this in. And then all I have to do is put my kill switch right here. And that's probably going to be the best, easiest way. So Let's see if we can get this off easy. Oh yeah. I just don't want to spray all that brake cleaner in there and then leave it. There we go. See how dirty? It still had lube on it, but like I said, it's just dirty. Do it, do it again, make it better. Here it is. Screws. Alright. Don't want nothing coming loose. Nice to sink cleaned up. I mean, nothing, man. A little bit of spray. Look beautiful. Compared to that other one. Yeah. I think we're going to be in business. Like I said, it was a gamble. You know, but 60 bucks, all of that, plus the red plug. Yeah. See how I had ground that down years and years ago. So it could get in these little the regular socket wouldn't fit in here. Grind this thing down. I'm missing a couple of these little nut bolts, so I got plenty from the other one. Then I'll go around too, take the hammer, just tap, 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 tap make sure nothing's gonna come out loose. So if you've never done anything like this, these little components, you see right there that that edge should be level with that edge. And when you go up, you shouldn't be able to hit it. it. Should be one smooth transition, up and down, up and down, up and down. All right, I'm gonna tap these down, give them a little tippity tip tap to make sure they're nice and locked in. You can kind of see on some of them, they've been tapped either tight or loose. They don't usually come loose. This one's really been tapped. You know, this all might be new stuff, whoever, I mean, this thing looks brand new. This looks new, this looks new. But somebody could have replaced all of this stuff on a motor that had bad compression or something, and then said, screw it, and took it all off and sold it. Kind of thing, you know. Let's see, will this come off without taking this whole bracket off? Man, you take this off and this is going to boing and doing and doing, boing, doing. So, oh, I know, I just take all of them off, pull it through. 
Not a biggie. Almost there. Please, outboard gods, let this thing fire up and charge. Alright, so let's see over here. Get rid of this. <laughs> and we have to do the same thing over here, run those wires. Well, we don't have to run them back there. And just do that. They don't have to go through down there. Sound groovy, baby? Almost there! Almost! Pain in the ass! Like everything else! Hey man, how's it going? Chuck, chuck, bo buck, banana <laughs> yeah. pan. My long lost cousin. I haven't cousin. saw that one in a while. <laughs> my long lost cousin from Bradenton. Yeah, oh my god, it looks brand new. I know, I went with all the new stuff. I said, screw it. I said, it's, you know. It's all together, too. Yeah, I, I was just telling the story. You know, they might have bought all that crap, put it in, and something was wrong with the motor. Uh, oh. so, you know, you never know. And we were gambling anyway on the other stuff. If it was, you know, the, the gambling on the coil, charge coil. So it's going to be a gamble all the way. But she almost there. All right, bucket's almost filled up. And about ready to fire it up. All right, heat. You got gas. Did you open it up? No, you're, near, you you're starting it. Choke. Did you choke it? No. Make sure we got more fuel. Everything's sparking. Give it too much. Oh, you ready? Yeah, I got spark on the top. Smoking. <laughs> you got too much wood? Well, I mean, it was two and a half turns up.
little bit, bro. Like I said, we get her out there on the water, dial her in, and we should be good to go. We just got a little bit, you know, we'll probably, uh, I know you just put those plugs in, what this know. thing's been through, and you might, might want to get some new plugs. <laughs> You'd be surprised with a couple of plugs we do. Yeah. Get them all gapped up and stuff. Just seems to be missing just a, just the slightest bit. Let me turn this thing off. We done. You know the channel. Oh yeah, baby. Next time on this old outboard. <laughs>